Hey guys, my name is Shadowhunt005 and welcome to today's Pokemon video where we will be talking about the new EV GX and Evolution GXs that were revealed in Japan yesterday. So I'm going to split this information up into four separate videos. Part one will be today and the next three days I will release the other three. So make sure you keep an eye on those and maybe even hit that bell icon if you're subscribed so that you get the notification hopefully when they come out. So yesterday it was revealed that there will be four new decks released in Japan that will go on sale on November 23rd that are all based around Eevee and the first three evolutions, Jolteon, Vaporeon and Flareon. Now we know we'll receive all of these GXs outside of Japan on January 18th but these will come as three separate booster boxes with oversized cards, five boost packs and of course the EVGX with its accompanying evolution. Now we're going to get these instead of the theme decks that Japan are getting however I still want to cover these as I think these look pretty nice. So as I said I'll be splitting this video into four separate videos. Today's video will focus on EVGX and going into it we see that each of these has a different EV artwork however these are all going to be the same EV just different artwork, that's all. So what does this EV actually do? Well, it's a basic colorless, which is to be expected. 160 HP, pretty decent, what we'd expect from something like this. It has a weakness to fighting and a retreat cost of one. It has three different attacks. So the first one is a three energy cost and it's called boost dash. Deals 100 damage, nothing special. Uh, it's GX attack, Happy Maker GX, costs 1 energy, and it allows you to search for 3 cards from your discard pile, show them to your opponent, and put them into your hand. That's always good, especially at the moment. We don't have many cards that pull from the discard, especially nothing that pulls out energy from what I can remember in standard. And so it's always good for pulling back, but probably more the supporters items and lost Pokemon. So it could be handy, but at the cost of your GX move, I'd say it's not one that we're going to look at more often. You might as well use, say, Gardevoir's one, which lets you pull 10 cards. Now, what really makes this EV special is its ability. So in the past, we've got our GXs that always evolve from a normal normal card, not any of the ones with special names, not that we've ever had an encounter with that. There's never been a GX that had an evolution at all so far. So this is going to be the first Pokemon GX that has the possibility of GX evolutions. Now because of the wording on the card, Normally speaking, you would not be able to evolve a GX to another GX, as well as be able to evolve a GX on a non-GX, so it's one or the other. Except with this Eevee's ability, which is called Reviving DNA, you can evolve this Pokemon to anything that would evolve from a normal Eevee that is in your hand. But you can't use this ability on your first turn or the turn you played this card. So that already looks good, but what makes it even better is that when it evolves this way, you may heal all damage from this Pokemon. So you're looking at a game, you're looking at evolving Jolteon, you've got Jolteon in your hand, your EV has taken 100 damage. Okay, use the ability, put down the Jolteon. Jolteon's fully healed and ready to battle. So yeah, I think that's an amazing ability. Certainly, definitely helps out. Always need heals. When we look at other heals, there's always a cost to it or they just don't heal enough. So yeah, I think this is going to be a really good one. Now, the only other EV we have in standard rotation at this moment in time is the Energy Evolution EV that looks like it's walked into a pane of glass. I've gone on about this EV in my pack openings before. I don't like the artwork, but we're not here to talk about artwork. 
So comparing these two EVs, let's have a look, see which one is better. So starting with the standard basic EV, it has 60 HP. So it can be knocked out really quickly, especially against fighting decks like Buzzwall. You know, one energy down on either Buzzwall and this thing's gone. It also has an attack that does no damage, but does let you draw a card, so that's kind of kind of in its favour. But what really goes in favour of this EV is its ability. So it's got a very similar ability that lets you evolve, but this one's a little more handy. Basically by attaching an energy onto this Pokemon, which can be used on the first turn or the turn it's been played. You can then search your deck for one of the evolutions and attach it straight to that Pokemon. So, kind of gets the upper hand with the fact that, oh, first turn, I've got my Eevee down. Oh, I just pulled out an energy card and straight up evolve. Even on the first turn, it's used a lot in the Sylveon decks. Straight away, you've already got your Sylveon on that. So comparing it to the other EV, well, the EV GX has a much higher HP, so at least it's not going to be knocked out straight away. It's also able to get three cards from the discard pile, but at the cost of its GX move, you know, you're probably wanting to save that for later on. And as I said earlier, its ability lets it evolve into any of the GX evolutions, which also includes Sylveon, Glaceon, and Leafeon from previous sets, as well as the new trio, but this cannot be done on the first turn or the turn it's played. So I'm going to let you guys decide which EV do you think is better. I think they both have pros, they both have cons, but at the end of the day, throw that out the window because it's not a case of which do you use over the other because as one's a GX and one's a normal the silver lining is you can actually use both of them you can actually have up to eight EVs in the deck now for the normal energy evolution ones and for the GX's so that means you can evolve into any of the evolutions and it also means that you can actually build an entire deck around the evolutions. You probably don't want to try and build a deck around all the evolutions, but I'm going to try anyway. So hopefully we'll see that in the new year. Anyway, that's all for this video. What do you guys think of these new evolution decks? And what's your thoughts about this EVGX card? Leave your comments down below. I do read all of them and would like to know what you plan to do with these cards and don't forget to check out the next part of the video which will be tomorrow until then see you guys